Good afternoon, universe. Today's story is called The Mother. It says, The mother, one of the pillars of the family unit. White skin, red hair, pushing a baby, the daily struggle to get the kids ready, if you have one, husband up and ready for work, while rolling off his inconsiderate comments as if you don't do anything all day. A mother is a full-time job. You should try it, the mother, the first level of compassion that you'll feel from the inside out. The mother, one of the pillars of the family unit, try doing it. Realize what a mother is. It's interesting because a mother is a full-time job. You should try it before you have inconsiderate comments as if they don't do anything all day. And they're running a full-time program. You know, I don't have any kids, but there's kids that live at my house, my brother's kids. And watching them and watching uh, his wife uh, run around the house and you know pick up things that she's picking up and you got to set it that's like a Tetris a game of games which is a job it's a full job full-time job especially if they're outside you're playing goalie with them to keep them out of the street while watching traffic and watching other people walk by this is when your multitasking skills are at an all high. Women have that already installed in it. Males, we have to gain that. We're not really multitasked like that. Some of us are, but some of us are not. <laughs> but that's that story. One moment. All right, welcome back. <laughs> so I had to pause you for a minute just so I can make sure I get this down so this is the second book and we finished the other book but the second book of writing and you're first so you can actually go through the whole book with me this time the other one was just so exhausting it just seemed to be long but now it's complete and I could type it up and go from there but this one says second book of the writer's views and perceptions through the purity of perception. The hands are dry and the writer's nails break down from the ground breaking of what's most important to excel forward and yet the love that's lost for who but the one from the beginning but just stop and breathe for your little dog calls to you. Take me for a walk dad. She licks and jumps, knocks the pen to the side, but then she takes off. But for who? How long? Dad, please take me for a walk. The writer says, okay. And I am the writer and I do have a dog. Her name is Rose, that's her adult name, but her regular name that I gave her in the beginning was Baby Girl. And it's interesting how little lives can make you understand your own life and what sacrifice is because it's not just meant for religious terms it's meant for doing something you don't want to do but you'll do for the greater of some things you do want to do because just because your morals make you Because this is the right way. These are things that you should be doing. These are things you should be thinking of. Not just yourself. Now. To close the other book. Because there's only one writing left. That I haven't read to you. And then the book is over. Well. I haven't read all of them. But. You're with me. This is actually called Eddie's. Named after uh, edibles. <laughs> it's funny, and you know, I'll tell you about it in a minute. So, one moment. 
Okay, Eddie's. Roll the dice. Just received three goodies at the dispo today. And it's a trip because the edibles that were given were one heart, two Sour Patch Kids, and two dice. Could you say roll the dice and we could be together? And you could have my heart or not. That's the question. Is that just what we want? Or is that the sour part of the bursting through? Then you start hallucinating because it is an edible. <laughs> it is it's supposed to make you high. But uh, at the end of this book it actually says End of Great Adventures. Next book, please. Which is that book right there that we started. But um, I went to the dispo yesterday and the, the person there working, she gave me three edibles. And in the edibles, one looked like dice. One was uh, hearts, like layers of hearts stacked on top of each other. And the other one was two Sour Patch Kids in a little bag, right? And I was like, that was cool. I was happy for it. And I put it in my pocket. I didn't even look at it, really. I just put it in my pocket. She seemed so nervous. I didn't want to make it. I don't know. She seemed nervous enough. So, like, hmm. But they did... They uh, had a really clean store and a good vibe in there. I mean, if you do smoke marijuana, I'd advise you to go by there. It's actually off of uh, Moss and Broadway next to the Chinese food place. And, uh, yeah, they got a good vibe in there. Needless to say, back to the female. Yeah, so she gave me these three edibles. And when I got home and I went to show my uh, my brother's wife and... I was like, look, I, she even, I even got some edibles. And, and when I went to show her, I looked at my hand. I said, son of a bitch, isn't that a trip? Roll the dice. <laughs> Roll the dice. We could be together and you can have my heart. <laughs> or you can crap out and this is just a thought in your mind. I don't know. The delusion comes with, I don't know, the sour part. <laughs> the sour patch kids, you know. It was pretty interesting, though. When I looked at it, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Edibles. Eddie's. And, uh... Yes, one more. Oh, wait. There might be more. We had the lustful delusions. Yes, this one's called Places, Please. One moment. Okay, places please. No matter if they're riding on a bike, the male guards the female, like it should be. Not saying that the strength of a woman is determined or defined by if she is on the inner side, away from traffic, but take not. We need to appreciate more than be so caught up in the destruction of the female role model. Our community relies on the female unit to get by. 329, 2020, written by Ivory Franklin Daniels, a.k.a. Frank Ivory Fuller. And if you like what I have to say, you can subscribe to my channel at Ivory F. Daniels. Interesting that that even rhymed again. <laughs> and if you have any questions or comments or you want me to write about something, make a, make a comment. Or if you see me outside walking around, because I'm all over the place, either walking or driving. My time is your time. Needless to say, this is called sinking slowly. Okay. Only the top of a flag is what you see, as if it's drowning. But if you look around, America is drowning. Just look into the eyes of the people, the beautiful scent on this flower that's uh, growing on, excuse me, growing and when the wind is fl flowing, your morning becomes magical. The powers that surround you now regulate the seen and unseen. Please believe the pen is damned but to who question? 
The rays of the sun is fun, but this writing is done. Well, we should move like the trash that blows past. This is actually written right here on satellite. Because so I was sitting on satellite as you walk down it, all over in San Diego, there's trees that aren't even in your area, but the scent of the flower is that powerful that it's all the way down the block. So as you walk down satellite on the right-hand side, once you pass uh, thermal, there's a, a, a house with these flowers that are growing like vines on both sides. Probably, I bet they have great mornings and good evenings because I could smell that flower all the way down, like by the apartments, which, which is close to, uh, what is that, Job Corps, which that's a pretty large and uh, pretty uh, long distance to smell a flower. But I sat right there, always wanted to sit right there, but I couldn't walk in the dog because she's like impatient. But then again, who's the walk for? Is it for you or is it for them? We're always dragging them along though. Like, come on. And I have to keep that in mind when I'm taking my dog for a walk because it's funny because the walk isn't for us, it's for them. Why are we dragging them down the street? <laughs> and I bet if we could hear them, that's probably what they would say is like, hey, who's this walk for? I thought this was for me. This is how I get down. I got to sniff every flower to actually get down. It's funny like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if they could talk, what would they have to say, you know? I mean, they can talk, we just can't hear them, but if we could, I'd, I bet it'd be quite interesting. We'd be less likely to tell them to shut up when they're barking at somebody because we'd already know what they're saying. So it'd be normal to us. It wouldn't be like noise. <laughs> but anyways, enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.